people boosters model resilience. Oftentimes, people feel uplifted when they're with other people who are showing that they can overcome problems, that problems are solvable, that it's okay to feel one's emotions, that you can have relationships that support you. So role, role modeling a health as healthy as you can, nobody's perfect, uh, is one very simple way to be a people booster. Albert Schweitzer, he was a philosopher. He had um, a hospital, one of the first hospitals in India, a uh, philanthropist, and he basically said this line, example is not the main thing in influencing others. It is the only thing. And here are five pillars of resilience. There are many ways to strengthen our resilience. But the first one is to be self-aware. Self-awareness, what does that mean? It doesn't mean that you're navel-gazing. It means that you understand your personality. It means you understand your strengths and your weaknesses. I have a strength of being helpful. I love being helpful. It's one of my strengths that turns up very often. And yet my kids will say, mom quit smothering me. So the strength can all often become a weakness, which we'll re revisit later. I am aware of some bad thought patterns. Some of them developed when I was a child that pop up to work on in my unconscious. I've, I've worked on a number of my poor thought patterns, sometimes called negative self-chatter or negative self-talk. And so a person who's aware is aware of, of all these aspects of being human, understanding that my, my nervous system gets triggered. What are my cues of emotional danger? What are the kinds of people that can lift me up? and other people that pull me down. So lots of self-awareness. So you can say, um, I don't think that way, or that's not my experience, or this is how I feel, or my belief is, etc." Second aspect is to be mindful. What does mindful mean? Some people may think it's mm, meditating, not necessarily. Mindful means the ability to be in the moment. How can you support and uplift somebody if you're thinking about some crisis that happened at work yesterday or what somebody else said to you? To be mindful means that I can feel the air in this moment. I can hear the sounds. I can even hear my own heartbeat. I can be in the moment. I see when I'm doing therapy, I need to be mindful. I need to be present in the moment. So I see a client's foot twitching. I see a frown. I see a jaw tensing. I see a tear quite quickly and I'm able to be present with it. And self-care. This does not necessarily mean getting a pedicure, having a bubble bath. What does it mean? It means understanding that you and I and all humans have basic human needs. And I have my latest blog article on my website is from survival to meeting our human needs. We have evolved beyond needing food, shelter, clothing. We want connection with one another. We want mutual support in friendships. We want intimacy with someone that's special in our lives. We want a sense of purpose. And so when we have a sense of human needs, we can clue into our own self-care, but we can also support others in their self-care by identifying a human need that is missing, that is neglected. And none of the more evolved Think about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. None of the higher human needs can be met if we don't have the basic needs of food, shelter, 
and some clothing on us. So, you know, this we face this sometimes in our communities where we run across somebody who is helpless to talk about having life purpose with them or finding somebody that they can be intimate with is not helpful. We need to attend first to their that very, very basic survival needs. So survival needs come first. After we have survival needs, then we can move up and attend to some of these other evolved human needs of connection and contributing to our society. Yeah. And uh, the fourth is having positive relationships, having social intelligence, having the intelligence that comes from heart to heart, whether that's with friendships, whether that's with children, whether that's with co-workers, or whether that's with a, an intimate partner. And the last is having a sense of purpose, reason to get up in the morning, reason to use um, emotions, emotions and thoughts and deeds with my hands. You know, I've got hands, what do I want to accomplish with them? Where do I want to take my thoughts? And where am I touched in my heart? I say, um, know your strengths, give what you can, is being on purpose. It has me feeling valued when I know what's important for me. Mm -hmm.